guys, so we're going to be creating a wood grain kind of cup today. So I want to do like two different colors here where it's like wood grain is showing here and then the rustic kind of bluish color that I have in my living room. You guys know that I love. So we prepped our cup with 91% isopropyl alcohol, alcohol. <laughs> and then we spray painted it white. And of course, uh, when you're using your spray paint or the resin part of this video, please make sure that you are, have the proper safety, your mask, your gloves, and your goggles if you don't have any eyewear that you have on presently. All right, so first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this makeup brush. It's a foundation brush. It's the 301 brush from Real Techniques. It's just stained green. I promise there's no green on it. And we're gonna take this color, Cinnamon, from Folk Art, and it is a matte finish. And we are going to grab some of that on the foundation brush and apply it as if we were doing our foundation. Back and forth. Oh my God, look how cool that looks. Look how cool that looks. Then we're gonna go in with some khaki and our alcohol ink and coffee. So coffee, khaki, and cinnamon. Don't forget about your bottom of your cup. And also don't forget about the top of the cup, you guys. We are just putting a base of paint there so it blends in with the rest of the cup, but we're not gonna be putting down any epoxy, just a clear coat of spray paint when we are finished. These colors blending together seamlessly. Yes, seamlessly, you guys. <laughs> All right, once we're satisfied with the acrylic paints, we're going to use a drop, just a drop, of the coffee shade of the alcohol paints. And then we're going to use the same method going back and forth with the foundation brush. And you guys are gonna see how freaking cool this is. So the alcohol and the alcohol paints actually works as a paint thinner. And as you can see, it starts to remove little bits of the paint. So not only does it blend in this beautiful, you know, coffee colored, um, stain to the wood, but it also peels up a little bit of the wood to give it that scratchy effect, to give it those beautiful, like five or six different tones you see in a grain of wood. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so delicious. You guys, it is perfect. I'm so happy with this method. I was just like, what if we did straight alcohol paint right on it and boom, it worked. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> All right, now we're going to take Elmer's glue. Yes, Elmer's glue, you guys. And we're going to stick a good chunk of it in a plastic cup. We're going to add in some Aquamarine by Apple Barrel Paint and also some Sage acrylic paint. You can get that from Target. Those two colors. And we got this gorgeous antique teal sage color. The, the exact one that's all over my living room, you guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> We're brushing it on with another clean foundation brush and just doing that same sweepy method. And the glue actually is going to give it a crackly effect. And now I'm using the heat gun on very low heat to kind of just help it crackle a little bit faster, faster and see where the big crackles are going to come in. Cause then you can go in with a stick, a popsicle stick, or in my case, I use the sharp end of my gem picker upper. And I started scraping in the paint itself, just adding a couple more crackly, antique looking scrapes. And it looks so good. All right guys, so this is what it is looking like right now. I am so incredibly pleased with it. It is dried and we have this really cool wooden texture here. And then this really cool, like antique looking, almost teal sage color. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on our cup turner. I made 20 mLs of epoxy because we're just going to put a layer down to dry before we do any decals or things like that. Remember to just go with the cup turner. Let it do the work. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. 
I'm in love. And this cup will be put on our shop. Okay, we're putting on this adorable deer decal. I'm so excited. Oh, look, we had a little ant friend. <laughs> Hi, little ant friend. I didn't even notice you there. So this is a transfer sticker. So we take off the backing of it and we're going to leave it on the actual sticky transfer. I like to apply my stickers, transfers, decals, etc. from the center and then push it out. That way you're less likely to get any bubbles. Then I take my soft edge of my tweezers. You can use a credit card, you can use a popsicle stick, and I am going in and very detailing, taking my time, doing it right, y'all, and pressing down all the white parts, all the actual sticker parts that we want to stick on the cup. Yes, it's a little bit tedious, especially when you have little parts like the antlers, you guys, but it's so worth it. And if you get any crinkles or any bubbles, don't freak out. It's all right. Work through them. You will be able to get them up. And then when you're peeling off the sticky part, you see I'm going a little bit slow just to make sure no parts came up. Like that little antler piece right there. It came up. <laughs> I'm doing my happy dance because most of it looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then that little antler piece I just pressed down with the um, soft edge of my tweezers. And look. It looks perfect. Bada bing, bada boom, you guys. All right, now we're going to put on a layer of epoxy. It's a pretty thin layer. I only did about 10 mLs, 5 mLs of part A, 5 mLs of part B. Let that dry for 12 hours. And then I found these beautiful water tattoos. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? And you, so you apply them just like you would any kind of water tattoo on your body. Like if you were at the fair. You put the tattoo on where you want the cup and just like the decal, wherever you put it, it will stay, you guys. <laughs> so make sure you put it down right where you want it. I use the cotton ball with water. I wring out the excess water, held it there for about 10 seconds, and then voila, the paper came up and left these beautiful tattoos. And I love how they're a little bit transparent a little simple, but they add just a touch of color, just a touch of elegance and spice to the cup, but still leaving the big white deer decal the main focal point of the cup. So pretty. <laughs> so once you finish this layer, you can let it dry for 24 hours and be finished with it. Or you can do one layer for 12 hours like I did. And then I did a second layer and let that dry for a full 24 hours. I always like to do two layers when I'm doing a decal that's a little bit on the thicker side. And I do not put epoxy on the part where you're going to screw in the actual lid on that part right there. Because the epoxy could change the size and then the lid wouldn't screw on properly. So don't put any epoxy there. We spray painted it with a clear spray coat. All right, you guys, and this is the finished cup. This turned out even better than anything I could have imagined. Oh my gosh, it was my first cup trying to make it look like wood, and I am so happy with it. I am so happy with the way that it turned out. I feel like it has that beautiful wood-looking texture with the kind of teal farmhouse antique look down here. And then these beautiful, subtle deer tattoos just, oh, mwah, they help pull it all together. The little deer antlers down here. Another little set of colorful deer antlers up here. And then the deer here. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's just beautiful. With the black lid too. Oh, I love it. I just think it's so beautiful. It's so classy. I didn't add a topper to this one. I just didn't feel like that's where this cup was headed. You know what I mean? Here's the bottom. I just felt like this was more of a rustic kind of looking cup and it didn't even need a topper to look extra honey. I'm so incredibly happy with it. It will be up on our shop when our shop is open. So be sure to check it out. I'll make sure. Trust me, I know I've had so many, so many questions, you guys. I promise. As soon as our shop is up, it will be up this week. 
I am so excited and thank you to everyone who is planning on supporting my small business or if you're watching this when it's already open, thank you for everyone who has supported my business. It's so important to me and it means a lot when you guys do make a purchase for me because I'm able to put the money back into our channel and into more cups and more supplies and all that good jazz. Alright, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Do something that I saw smile today. You guys stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day. Bye, guys. Say bye, Mr. Deer. Bye. <laughs>